Hello, I am Dr. Sangeeta Gomes, Consultant, Obstetrics, Gynecology and Infertility, Bangalore, India. Subchorionic bleed or hematoma is accumulation of blood between the uterus and forming placenta or uterus and the outer membranes of the gestational sac. It's the most common detected sonographic abnormality in the presence of live embryo. Vaginal bleeding affects 20% of all women in first trimester of pregnancy. The outcome of the fetus depends upon the size of the hematoma, mother's age and fetal gestational age. It is called a small hematoma if the size is less than 20% of the gestational sac and large if the size of the hematoma is more than 50% of the gestational sac. Causes are not well understood, may result from trauma or may be related to the process of trophoblasts embedding into the uterus. Sometimes hematomas also can be seen in women on blood thinning agents. Effects on pregnancy Sometimes there are no symptoms. The woman just presents with lower abdomen cramps. Small hematomas are asymptomatic. They do not worsen the patient prognosis. They in fact regress and resolve on their own. If the hematoma is large, it can partially strip the developing placenta away from its attachment site, thereby resulting in miscarriage. Management is complete bed rest, adequate hydration by drinking plenty of water, no straining or lifting of heavy weights, no sexual intercourse, Avoid constipation and coughing. Eat healthy food. Avoid exercises. Continue iron and folic acid. Follow-up ultrasound should be done to check the fetal heart rate and the subchorionic hematoma size. Do routine blood investigations. In some special cases, special tests can be asked like APLA syndrome, SLE, ITP, wherein the patients have history of recurrent miscarriage. Some doctors want to wait and watch. Some start progesterone capsules oral or vaginal or injectable. Injection HCG also can be given weekly till 11 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. Some doctors start blood thinning agents like aspirin or injection heparin depending upon some certain special conditions where they are APLA positive. Anti-bleeding drugs like tranexamic acid in the form of tablets and injections also can be given. 